Three, two, one. <coughs> All right. Uh, it's the rundown. December 18th. It's a Wednesday, 2019. Everybody good? What yeah. are you looking for? Uh, Mountain Dews, because that's the first ad. Oh, wait, I had to go around the bar. Why don't we have some Mountain Dews? We should have Mountain Dews. I get Mountain Dews. We're getting Dew Mountain Dews. All right. All right, the rundown is presented by Mountain Dew. This NBA season, Mountain Dew is all about the threes. The shot. Oh, oh my dear God. God. That was an insane throw. Holy shit. Jesus. Thank you. Lefty as well. Oh, yeah. Hey, Daniela. Just notice that the, these two guys have both got Mountain Dews, and <laughs> I'm just sitting here. This NBA season, Mountain Dew is all about the threes. The shot that is changing the game. As a beverage, it challenges people to pursue their passions. Mountain Dew is aligning itself with the most badass shot in the game, pushing boundaries and taking hoops culture to the limit. Badass. Mountain Dew is all about being badass and getting out there and doing. There are those who watch and let life happen, and those who do and make life Us. happen. We make life happen, right, boys? That was mm -hmm. beautiful. For those badasses who pursue their passions, Mountain Dew is the charge to do. The rundown is brought to you by oh. Mountain Dew, the official beverage of the mm. NBA. Do the do. Do mm. the do. Yep, here we go. Rundown. Delicious. Big Cat, Marty Mush, Brandon Walker. Delicious. All right, boys. Different kind of rundown. Uh. We decided we're all bringing two topics to the table. What happened was today is the day where the, the Christmas party and everyone's running around and everyone's got a million things they're trying to do to get done before Christmas. So it's a it's a potluck it has rundown. Last day of like school that. vibes. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Potluck rundown. So we all brought our own topics. No one knows what the topics nope. are. Uh, Who's odds going or even, first? Do you want to go first? Evens to see who goes first. Wait. Do you know how to play odds or evens? How do you do I it? Usually you just throw put one, or one or two. Okay, all right. And the odd man out will go first. All right, let's go. No, yeah. Right, one, he did two, like three. seven pounds. Right. Yeah, let's do one, two, three, shoot. Right. Okay. One, two. Wait, wait. He, he, okay. One, one two, two, three, shoot. shoot. Dude, just put it. Just come on, let's go. One, two, three, shoot. Oh, wait, I did, I did paper. I oh, you just start. Jesus okay. Christ. Sorry, I didn't mean to do paper. Can we do it one more time? No, go. Okay. One, two, three, shoot. We did it right One, then. two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. I'll start. Topic number one, is odds and evens the dumbest game in the world? Yes. That's No, you didn't bring that topic yeah, to I did. the table. I just brought it to the table. I thought it was and always a dumb odds. game. I thought odds and evens always you count. Like one, two, three, I think three, we should four, have had five, an six. elimination round of yeah. rock, paper, scissors. I think you just completely did it wrong. Okay, we'll do that for the after show, the rock, paper, scissors year. But uh, that is a, that's a stupid game. Like, I was, that was hard for us to figure out. We look dumb. Discuss. I did not mean to do paper. I, yeah, no, I you looked dumb there. He was offbeat. I was pretty good to be No, honest. you were not. You 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 did like seven pounds the first time. Mm -hmm. yeah. You look like Dave. Fat. <laughs> Fat. Goodness uh, gracious. Okay, so that's my first topic. All right. Um, my first topic is I'm hearing uh, Donald Trump's getting impeached. Is that actually happening today? It's voting right now. Yeah, that's happening right today. I, I do love the fact that Mush just said I'm <laughs> hearing it. Like you just heard it from like your barber Sources. or your neighbor. I just heard it from Ken Jack. Okay, here's my problem. Here, no, we'll talk about this. Here's my problem. I don't like that... Good throw. You can say impeach, but then it cannot happen. Like, it needs to be a phrase or a word that's like, he's no longer president. So, or he still is, because it's like he gets impeached, and then they have to go through all the fucking House and the Senate and all yeah. this bullshit. Just tell me when something actually happens. So yes. what's going to happen is the House is going to impeach him with a Democratic majority, and then they're going to have a trial in the Senate. The Senate, Got it. The Senate is trying to have a trial quickly. He's not going to end up getting ousted out of office. So the impeach means nothing. It means same nothing. Hap same thing happened with Bill Clinton. It's like, he got impeached, and it's like, but he was still president. We need a better word for but it. Wait, that's bullshit, then. We need, like, a pre-impeachment or something. Student, my student body in ninth grade didn't impeach me. There was no Democratic or Republicans. Did you get elected but the right way, though? Or did you seize power? No, I got elected the right way. I voted for I, Okay. I, I promised a lot of things. Two questions. How did you get impeached, number one? Because I promised... Sexual people. relations? No, I promised the petting zoo. Oh. So that plays into why you got impeached, because you didn't deliver on the petting zoo? Yeah, and I also didn't do much. Was it the staff that impeached you or the student body? Student body. Well, oh, that's bad. But did <laughs> you go through the Senate? Who's the Senate? The well, principal? that's the thing. It's like, this is what I'm saying. It's like, just give me a phrase. It's like, hey, he's go he might be impeached. This is he might be impeached. I'm quite shocked you were ever elected class president in the first place. 
I had he's a really good speech. I he's charismatic, it, but. I have ideas out the wazoo, got everyone buzzing. Mm -hmm. Did you at least try to deliver on the petting zoo? Yeah, of course. I love petting zoos. Everyone, it decreases stress. No, 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 no. I didn't say, did you like the petting zoo? I said, did you try to try deliver to on the petting zoo? Did you call asked. someone like, hey, we need a petting zoo? I asked. Okay. I wanted a monkey. That would have been fun. More, you should have gotten a couple dogs. More schools yeah. need monkeys. All right, Brandon, what's your first topic? My first topic is actu an actual topic. Well, that was too. That was the most topical thing in the world. Recruiting. Today's signing day. Today's national signing day in college football. A couple things happened. Jimbo Fisher was asked how important signing day was, and he said, well, I ain't never seen nobody win a Kentucky Derby with a donkey. How important is it to continue to stack up these classes? I mean, I, I don't know if people oh. realize the competition that you're against every single week in the SEC West, but two top ten classes following up the way you finished to keep stacking that depth for you to make it through the SEC grind every single year. How important is it? You know, people ask me all the time, what's more important, coaching or, or players? I say, yeah. yeah. You got to be able to coach, you got to have players. And I always said, I ain't seen nobody win a Kentucky Derby with a donkey. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a funny quote. That's a good quote. Uh, number two, Tom Herman double birded the camera. Did double bird the he camera? Did, he did double birds. Uh, he's on the Longhorn you Network. Don't put, you don't put your thumb out. Uh, I, I think that's how I bird. Ugh. How's everybody bird? So you're mostly finger, and and you you've got double double partners there. I got one partner. It's disgusting. You have long fillets. Well, it's three. Baylor. No, actually. Did you see the Baylor video? I saw that. Baylor Muppets. just had Muppets yeah. as their, like, they introduced their recruits, and it was like a Muppet bench pressing. Nothing in my life has been given to me. From a young age, I knew what I wanted to be, and I've worked for it. To mom and dad, thank you for all you've done to make my dreams come true. My coaches and teammates, thank you for pushing me to be the best I can be. I promise to make you proud and to coach Rule and the Baylor staff. Thank you for this opportunity. I'm committed to Baylor University. <laughs> number four. That was wild. That's number four. Good. <laughs> the University of Maryland stole a five star receiver from LSU. Wow. Rakeem Jarrett, five so stars. So, how much money do you think that Under Armour so, money? I, I like, like to Maryland just like. Every now and then, they'll just have Under Armour money bag. I'd like, like to drop. welcome Maryland to the cheating game. Yeah. It's always nice to see somebody else jumping in the cheating you gotta game. You got to try. Right? Yeah, you got to try. Yeah, have to do so it. Maryland took a five-star receiver from LSU, which is crazy on the receiver's part. Yep. Because LSU seems like where you want to go right now to be a receiver. Correct. Okay. Who's going? Are we, are we snaking it? How's How are we Mississippi doing State going? Uh, we're going to be the number 25 class in the country, right about where we always are. Okay. Yeah, standard Mississippi State class. So How's Wisconsin doing? I have no idea. I don't give a fuck. So I know that Wisconsin always coaches the boys up. They could get the worst recruiting class in the world, and they'll still end up with like nine That's wins. That's guy who yep. believes in his team. They're going to finish 40th in recruiting. They and always go, coach They're going well. to go 11-2 next It's year. how you coach. It's not how you recruit. That's actually the truth. What's your If say? recruiting mattered, Michigan would win national titles. Texas A&M would, too. There you go. It's how you coach. Uh, Here at Barstool, yeah. we are constantly looking at our computers and phones all day, and too much screen time can result in tired, dry eyes, headaches, blurry vision, and trouble sleeping, which is why we're, we wear blue light filtering glasses. Felix Gray glasses filters out 90% of high-energy blue light and eliminates 99% of the harsh glare coming from the screens. Unlike other brands who use blue light coatings that are ineffective and can chip or scratch, Felix Gray uses proprietary blue light technology that's embedded directly in the lens. Available in prescription, non-prescription, and readers. Felix Gray has you covered with optical glasses in the, in the evening that are clinically proven to increase melatonin secretion when worn. Is this a joke? Oh, no, that, big that words? helps you sleep. That helps you sleep. <laughs> melatonin, I love Why do yeah, I yeah. have to read all these big words? Just do it. I'm doing well. You're smart. Melatonin secretion when worn leading up to bedtime. Go to felixgrayglasses.com slash rundown to get a pair of blue light glasses from the pros. Shipping and returns are totally free. That's F-E-L-I-X-G-R-A-Y, glasses.com slash rundown, felixgrayglasses.com slash rundown. Topic number two, Big Cat. No, snake draft. It's not a snake draft. Yeah, go ahead. I got two. I you got, got a good ending topic. You got a good ending topic. Yeah. The new Star Wars came out today. Anybody going to see it? Wait, is it actually out today? Didn't it come out today? Jeff, come out today? Yeah, it came out today. Tomorrow, how many, how, what do you rate it? Star Wars He's fans. Good. He enjoyed it. Star Wars fans it. outside of him are, are probably gonna hate and it, right? They all. Oh, Q Jack's give us one of these. Jack. Anyone else see it? Robbie liked it. Though. Robbie liked it. I think Fran saw it, but Fran's got her headphones in. Fran. 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 Star Wars, yes or no? Yes. 
Yes, Fran gave it a yes. She gave it a yes. It's a firm <laughs> yes from Fran. So we got an eh from Ken Jack, uh, I liked it from Jeff so Lowe, no and idea. a yes from Fran. There's your no review. Idea. Have you what? Have you seen all Star Wars movies? Not one. You've never seen one either. I've seen. I've, seen, a, I've like seen scenes from yeah. one. I've seen a lightsaber. Scenes, but I've never seen a Star Wars. My my kid loves lightsabers. I have to buy them every Christmas. Yeah, you're gonna buy him a real one. Yeah, an actual lightsaber. That's I would sick. if I could. That's Can't. sick. That would be very. What's dangerous. your topic? I have two. Okay. Um, Takarat 69, 11 months, 11 months in jail, left. He's coming out. Wait. So I, I thought he was getting everyone. out. Wait. No, a, what was his name? The Kashi 69. I call him Takarat. Because he's a rat. Yeah, he's a rat. Okay. Big Ev, 11 months left in jail. 11 months. I mean, he's gonna. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. Yeah, yeah. No, that's not good. He's dead. And the last one was. Uh, now, what does he? What does he rap? Rap. He raps. He has six What's nine. his famous song? He has six nine on his face. Okay. What is it? I don't know what that. I don't is. know what he says. <laughs> he's, he's, he, gumbo? Go. He's got strep throat. He can't. Gumho. Really, he can't speak with his chest right now. <laughs> oh, he's got right. strep throat. Gumho. And then uh, a man from South East stole a truckload worth of ten thousand dollars in lobsters. That's a lot. Wait, that's actually not a lot of lobsters. It's I was going to say it's a lot lobsters. of lobsters, but $10,000 lobsters, how many lobsters? I feel like that's like 25 about lobsters. 32, I was going to say. Yeah. No, Probably it's like, nice uh, was that 100 well, lobsters? I don't yeah, know. Probably 100, right? Ten and 100. lobsters don't take up that much room. Yeah, it's probably like it's probably like 200 lobsters. Getting caught for that, like, you got to steal way more than that. I don't know how much the lobster costs. And they're live, probably. How's no? the lobster yeah. black market? Can he move those easily? No, probably not. It's like when someone like steals a famous painting. It's like, how are you going to just sell it? Yeah, you can't just fence it. No. You can't just take it to Craigslist. Um, would you buy lobsters off Craigslist? No. I probably would. I would, definitely. I love a good lobster. I haven't been on Craigslist forever. I miss it's Craigslist. It's still a thing, right? I know, I miss it. Um, all right, my last topic online. is, do you think, so tonight's holiday party, Christmas party, people mm -hmm. are getting really pumped. Yep. People are going to get too drunk. People mm -hmm. are going to act foolish. Do you think there's a correlation between people who have tried too hard and dressed up and how drunk they're going to get? Because I always see people who show up with something nice on, they have been thinking about the holiday party too much, mm -hmm. and so they're like, this is going to be the best night ever. This yep. is going to be epic night. They always get the drunkest. Well, let me tell you something. Rudy already tweeted this. Uh, it was Tyler O'Day, and Tyler O'Day is just dressing for his sink. He's going to sink. He's got his fucking, he was wearing a suit. Um, I am dressing up, but I don't drink, so Youngs, I don't really qualify. Youngstown no, Bob. yeah, you will though tonight. You think I'm gonna get drunk tonight? Yes, yeah. you're gonna get shit. I'm not getting shit faced. But this is this is the third floor Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. Big time I'm gonna be, I'm gonna meet a lot of people tonight that I yeah. did not know were here. Name tags. Yeah, name tags would be we nice. Have name tags. So yeah. I have a question. Will we spend our time uh, hurting with the people we already know, or is it one of these sure. is one of these situations where we get out and do mingle? Well, I mean. Personally, I don't even know if I'm gonna go. So he does this a lot. I'm no. gonna probably go for 20 minutes. You said you were gonna go yesterday. I'm gonna go for 20 minutes. Is it dwindling returns? Like at the beginning of the week, you were definitely gonna go, and now it's oh, closer. Oh yeah, it it was closer and closer. Like when I woke up this morning, I was like, why the fuck am I going? I just want to go home. Um, I see you all I'll every day. I'll go for a half hour. Yeah, yeah I'll go for a half hour. You're going for like the whole time, right? I don't want to no. be the guy who's never going to the thing, so I got to go for at least half hour. I feel like everybody's saying they're going for a half hour or an hour, and at 9.45, there's going to be 200 drunk people. Just Brandon, on each I other. can guarantee you that you might not I be will one not be there at Dave 9 will be there from, I said, I'll give him seven minutes. Yeah, Dave, yeah, yeah. Seven to 12, which I wouldn't, I mean, and I'm going to talk to the only people I know probably. So just me and you're gonna talk. I'm gonna much. eat. Uh, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. I'm gonna get as many appetizers. Is it appetizers? Not really. Not really. Not really. That's. that's what is mozzarella sticks? Where's food? What's okay. the food situation? Like, what is the food situation? Chick Fil A sandwiches. Chick -fil -A sandwiches? Oh, Chick Fil A sandwiches. <laughs> All right, so okay. I'll have a Chick Fil A sandwich party. and then I'll eat. <laughs> yeah. That's better than appetizers. appetizers. Yeah. I. This the appetizers are literally the only reason I go to parties. I follow the waiters I around. I only go to I. When I go to a party, when I go to a wedding, I only I get the appetizers, I eat the appetizers, I then sit down for dinner, I eat my dinner, and I leave. I love the finger foods. We're not gonna have finger food. Is charcuterie? Question. Okay, I like the charcuterie. Um, charcuterie. Bring are we your own just crackers? talking about Chick Fil A sandwiches, or are we talking about nuggets too? Just sandwiches. Son of a bitch. What's charcuterie? Spicy. Charcuterie is salami and cheese. Only fifty. And all that. Oh. What do you mean? Oh, charcuterie is delicious. Nah, I don't do that. 
I charcuterie. Don't like... The only problem with charcuterie is that like they will they won't have good crackers. It's not it's the cheese. I love cheese and crackers. I love cheese and crackers. I love cheese and crackers. I don't like but the wet crackers foods. are so. Important. They won't have good crackers. No. I don't know. I feel I'm not. This isn't like a. I feel like when you go somewhere. And you get the charcuterie board, and it's like fancy, and there's like a couple figs, maybe some uh, jelly. Yeah. And then it's like three or four fucking. Uh, that's a crackers fancier that charcuterie are all like, than I'm used to. Come on, man. What parties I need, do you guys go to? I need crackers. I need. You throw me a triscuit. I don't like wet foods like, like meats. What do you mean? Like, salami. It's I wet. love salami. It's How wet, exactly though. is salami wet? Pick no, up it can be. It's wet. gonna be slimy. Yeah, slimy wet. That's gross. But I, I think it, the kind you get in charcuterie, I think the kind that we'll Stop get. Stop saying will charcuterie. Not... Just stay meat and cheese. It is just meat and cheese. <laughs> you come, you, you, you go to New York for. Is that, that's Dana's gum that you're giving away? Really yeah. good. Why? Right. It's good. It's good gum. You ever, we good? You ever do this? Ready? Shit. You know we got bugles over there that you can put on your fingers and have witch fingers? Yeah, but it's only ranch. I know. Oh my bugles god. Bugles ranch are not very good. No. I don't know why time. we get bugles ranch. And I actually think we no never one's get eating bugles. them. I think no one's eating them. I think they just keep recycling the same bugles. I eat them every like day. once a week. Yeah. What are you doing? I messed up. Oh, we gotta we gotta finish. We gotta do so what, how do we do You wanna do a round robin? Yeah. So everyone plays each other once. So maybe you go first. Wait, we play each other once. Two out of three. And then overall record? Yeah. Okay. Wait, I did it. One, two, three. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, shoot. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three, shoot. One, wow. nothing, me. One, two, three, shoot. One, one. One, two, three, shoot. Two, one, you. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys play. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> four, one. I only go rock. You're four, one? Yeah. All right, so the, whoever wins this is in the championship against you. All right. Okay, he actually did only go rock. You played rock six straight times. Mm -hmm. Always. All right. You never know what Once I'm going to do. Once you figure that out. All right, here's the championship. Best of seven? No, best, best of five. five. Five? Best of five. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. Oh, I fucked that up, but you won. Anyway. All right. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. Two, one. One, two. Oh, boy. Two, one. Just relax. Just relax. Go. One, two, three, shoot. Champion. Oh. And still. Champion, heavyweight champion of the world. You came from the loser's bracket to beat me.